I've always said that I wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been able to do the performance without Selena's and Nicole. Hi, John. How you doing? You okay? I'm doing fine in you. Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you and a pleasure to talk about this performance that I thought was so powerful and so great. Okay. So you start. let's start from the beginning. When you first read the script, like what was like got your attention? I know Brian's story is very powerful, but yes. what got, really got your attention? I mean, that's the that's one of the main things is a powerful story, but the way the script was put together. Um, obviously, this IP was based on an article um, that, that Abby and the team secured. And I feel like the way Abby and Kwame Kwe Ma broke down this character, the fact that it wasn't going to just, you know, be um, have thriller aspects, the fact that it was actually a, a character, a character arc, a real character arc in which you get to see the whys behind every action that you see in each take. I was just really, really excited at joining something like that. Yeah, and your your performance is very powerful. And how did you balance like that emotional side of it? And at the same time, you try to. He's so kind. He's a kind person. How did you balance that? Um, myself and Abby had a process in which we actually strategized and pinpointed each scene in which it would either be small, subtle Brian or more extroverted Brian. And then we would go through the story and pinpoint what moments were more suitable to him, his timidness, and then what moments were more suitable to him just being, you know, out there kind of breaking down. Um, so, you know, maybe in the future with deleted scenes, you might see a few versions of the louder scenes that are much more quiet and peaceful, just so that we could have options. Yeah, how is it for you like work with Michael Kenneth Williams? I think this is one of his last uh, uh, works and how he, he's dynamic. No, oh, exactly. It's fantastic um, to work with him and so inspirational. But for me, personally, it feels like a full circle moment just because of how much I've watched him, you know, coming up. Yeah, and like work with Selene and Nicole, they're two amazing actresses and I think you guys did a really good job like how was like work with them i've always said i wouldn't have been wouldn't have been able to do the performance without selena and nicole because at the end of the day you know i can only be as reactive as as my co-stars are, are, are allowing me to um and i felt like in moments especially um acting with selena and nicole they really affected my imagination in terms of what where i was able to go because they were down for the energy i was bringing onto the set you know i never introduced myself to them once like no one got to know each other it was just the main time we all actually spoke was when the cameras were rolling. We didn't really even speak during, um, in between takes. And I feel like the devotion shown on set to just make this an immersive experience was was actually, uh, it, it was it was second to none. Yeah, what is your biggest challenge this time around? Um, I think it was moving through society with a bald head. That, that, that for me was, uh, that was different. That was different. I kind of had to have those, I had to shave my head every morning, um, just like Brian would do. And it kind of, it was like a ritual, you know, shaving the head, putting on glasses. Yeah, but it definitely gave me a different um, experience in my personal life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you, as I said, you did a great job. Like, I was like, oh my God, this is really John Boyega? Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, and you, you have all these amazing projects. You have one coming up, the, the Woman King. Is there anything that you can tease us? <laughs> Oh yeah, The Womb King's going to be great, you know, it's a, a very powerful story um, starring Viola Davis. Um, and I think that's going to be something that everyone's going to be really, really excited about. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, everybody is. And you also is a, a executive producer in Breaking. Mm -hmm. What did you bring to, to for, for the table being an executive producer? Well, getting the project greenlit, um, I think the project was just in a, in a bit of a limbo um, after some scheduling issues. Um, so we had to sort that out first. And then on top of that was, you know, securing additional funding, which is <laughs> something that could be quite complicated. But, you know, you flaunt a few names and get the team together and we're able to we're able to do that. But it's just collaborating mostly creatively with Abby, with the rest of the team and making sure that the story, Brian's story that needs to be told, is told in the most entertaining, but at the same time, accurate way as well. Yeah, that's amazing. Joan, this is the time that I have with you. I just want to thank you so much. A lot of success and you're so talented, always. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Bye-bye. Is everyone all right in there? I have a bomb and I'm going to kill myself and everybody in here. My demands and I'm there. I'm sorry. The VA stole my disability check. They left me homeless. I won't be able to feed my family. I need everybody to see what's happening here. You have my undivided attention. Get the blinds. Get the lights! I don't want the bank's money. Everything you 
do matters. Just make good, Brian. Just make good. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.